Hello Rockheads and welcome back to another episode of Shipping Lanes. Now in this episode, we need to branch out a little bit more. I want to go in search of better profits, but in order to do that, we need to better our ship and sail across the ocean. So, we left off last time buying the York container ship. Now I haven't actually sailed this as of yet, but just before we go ahead and do that, I want to go into purchase ships and sort of see where I'm going to go in terms of buying the next ship. Now, we've only got 226 cash. I need to get out there and get some profit stonks. We need to start making some big, big monies. So, for the next kind of ship that I'm looking at getting, we're either going to aim for the Perth class, which is 60 containers. We've got a decent speed. You know, we're looking at making, on average, about 2,000 again. Give or take depends on which ports we go to and all that stuff. But I want to go one step further. I want to try and grind to at least get the medium container ship. Anything after that, we're looking at really big money. I mean, we've got 283,000 for the A-class container ship. And then we start looking at the millies all the way up to uh, this big boy here. Now, I'm going to try and aim to get the medium container ship in this episode because we can carry a lot more containers and the profit is a little bit more better. Now I'm hoping we can find some good grinds and routes using the ship that we've got. Once I've got this, I'm not too sure where I'll go. I'll see how much money it makes. I do eventually want to start moving onto like bulk carriers and oil tankers, but you know, we need to, we need to start grinding some decent profits first. So I'm gonna to go to return to menu. I'm gonna head into play. And let's spawn in at... We're going to go for Newport. I do kind of feel that this is our home port at the minute. Now, looking at the map, I know there's a bunch of other places that we can spawn in. If any of you guys out there know... Um, let me just clear some screens just so I've got a bit more visuals. If any of you guys know better places to spawn at, you know, to get better jobs, if you want to say, then please let me know in the comments below. But for now... I do feel that Newport is kind of where we're at. So I'm going to go check out, see what we've got going. Another thing I do want to check is the fuel consumption, because if I can maximise the journey, depending on the amount of fuel that we use, then I can go a little bit further and get maximum profits for as far as we can go. But it is time for us to expand out a little bit and check out other places on the map. So let's head over to Port before what, what we've just spawned in and we've got a dude kind of about to head in our direction okay and it's night time again always always right i'm gonna head down this side of the dock because i don't know where these guys are sort of looking to to stop i hope they kind of just stop here but now on my luck uh where are we going where are we going come on Take it easy, easy, easy. But I'm gonna let them know. Look, I am heading into port. So, uh, yeah, go and park up yourself. Go and dock. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna head over here and then see what jobs we've got on the go. First thing I want to do is just check the fuel as well. That way we can uh, see how far we can actually go in the game. I don't want to keep doing shit. Oh my god, they're coming full steam ahead into the dock. Like, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, it's one of Seriac ships. It would make sense. They are being a bit foolish there. But they have got the skills. Look at that. GG's. Speaking of that, I need to check out the companies as well. I think I need to join the Fools Trading Inc., is it, at some point? And uh, look to create our own company as well. Get some jazzy colours on the go for the ships. But we are now docking. So let's have a little look and see what's on the go. Right now, I do want to go to ship services first and foremost. So it looks like at the minute we've got nine tons remaining. So I want to bear that in mind for travelling. So can I... I mean, there's a little bit left here. Can I just like type in some random figures? Can I do one extra... Fuel? No, it's not letting me put... Okay, that's a bit strange. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. Um, don't need to repair, so we've got nine tons remaining. So let's exit there. Let's go to manage cargo. So here, 
I'm going to be focusing my attention on the port distance. So, two miles, I could get 1,000. Now, I know we can go further because we have got nine tons of fuel. So, 3.5, more profit again. 3.9, 3.1, 7.2. Now, these, this one here, we've got 7.2 at 2,500. Now, I can only take up to 50 containers, I think. I don't know. I've completely forgot how much we can carry. Now, I have got a 7.2 mile journey that we can take for 4,750. Now, I've completely forgot how many containers we can take, but I'm sure it'll prompt us in a minute. 9.2 is just going to be stretching it a little bit. I don't want to run the risk of running out of fuel at that 0.2, unless we just sort of, like, drift. But I don't want to do that, so at the minute... Oh, that's, that's far. Oh, tasty profit as well. I'm going to go for this one here. Now, will it let me just load the 50? It certainly does. So, I'm going to head back. And um, what was that journey? 7.2. It was going to New Haven Harbour. So, can I open the map? No. I'm going to go back. So, that's New Haven Harbour. Because I need to remember where we are actually going. I'm going to undock. I'm going to sail out just a touch. Just so I can give myself a little bit of distance. Some of these dudes do be cray. Right, okay, so off we go. Off we go. Now, I'm going to slow the ship down just a touch, because while I'm checking the map, I don't want to oof into some rocks. So, let's go on to the map. New Haven Harbour. So, I know we are over at Newport. So, we're going to be heading over to New Haven Harbour. Now, I'm going to head out. Looks like we're going to be keeping to the right most of the time. So I'm going to kind of hug Stanley Harbour until we get out into the open and then take ourselves round to New Haven Harbour. So let's do that right now. So we're going to go full steam ahead. Now, I've got a bit of a grind to do if I'm going to be looking at making $55,000, is it, in this game? So obviously I can't cover all of the journeys I'm going to do. I'm going to sail to... New Haven Harbour, we're going to dump these containers over there and then I'm going to stay there and see what jobs we can take. And hopefully we can get ourselves around the map a little bit, make that 55,000 that we want in order to be able to buy that middle something ship, I think, which in return will, give us, will basically give us more, more extra profits. So let's see where we're heading now. We got oh no, we're going the complete wrong way. Hold, hold, hold. Stop, stop, stop. Right, we're gonna do a big epic spin. Big epic spin. Oh, we've got a bit of a gap here. Can I can I take it? Yeah, I'm gonna cut the corner. I'm gonna go through here and then uh, carry onwards with the journey. Question is, will we actually be successful squeezing through? Let me zoom in a little bit more. Let me zoom in. I think we'll make it. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. Oh, choppy waters. Okay, let's risk it. We've got this. We've got this. Or is one of the beach going to gonna spawn in as we get closer? I don't know. I don't know. Right, I'm going to slow it down a touch. Oh, my God. This is so risky. Okay, I'm going to... I'm not feeling brave enough to go through there. I am going to hug the wall here. Take it easy. In fact, I could have actually have gone through there. Right, let's not smash into the rocks now. I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be good. Okay. Right, we're going to take a right turn. Oh. Oh, so I'll take it back to the Arctic Ocean. I did see some like Arctic class ships, I believe. I don't know if we could just sail into one of those with this type of ship that we've got, though. I don't know if there's any sort of weather effects or something like that. I'm not too sure. Interesting stuff anyway. Right guys, I think I'm okay now. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna continue our journey this way until we get to New Haven Harbour. I will be back once we reach New Haven Harbour. I shall see you all over there. Right, there is one thing I need to test, and it is the horn. New ship, new horn test. Nice, one more time. Oh my goodness me. Uh dude. There's plenty of sea for the both of us, okay? Okay, I hope, I hope he hasn't fell asleep. Oh my goodness me. Okay, so it looks like we're just about to arrive into port right now, if I don't completely oof. 
coming in to the entrance here. It's a whole new port for me, but at the minute it seems okay. I just need to figure out where we dock, which I could imagine this is the container section over here. So let's bring it in nice and easy. Hopefully we don't damage anything. And then we can um, see what profits we make. And of course, coming into port in a storm when it's night time. It's how we roll. It's how we roll. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm going to slowly bring ourselves over. I really do hope this is the right size here. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And we're going to reduce that throttle down now. Quite happy with that speed. We are just going to come to a nice slow standstill. Anyone else around us? No, there's a dude coming in over there, but I don't think they're going to the containers. And there we go. So let's dock. Let's see what we can make. Hopefully, a nice tidy profit. And then I shall select a job from here. Let's see what it takes us. Right, manage cargo. So we're going to switch to unload. We're going to unload those containers, which then in return should give us over 4,000 cash. And switch to loading, and now we can check out some extra jobs to see what we're looking at. Now, I'm going to go back first. Ship services, we've got six tons remaining. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, we're going to refuel the ship. It's going to give us that full 10 tons now. So, with all that being done, we're going to go to... Oh, but the... Bit of thunder, guys. Bit of thunder. So, let's see what we've got. We've got 10 tons of fuel. Can I really maximise that? That, I feel, is going to be too far. 8.3. I think we could do it a stretch. So, what was the... Is there any more than 8.3? Damn, that'd be a little bit scary. Let me turn that down. There we go. Woo! I don't like that. Okay, so I think 8.3 is going to be our next journey. So, we're going to make a £1,000 more than what we did. So, let's load that up. So that 8.3 is at Emerald Harbour. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to undock ship. I am going to open up the map and see where that is. Now I'm hoping by doing a couple of these jobs, we can slowly build up to that 55,000. It is going to take me some time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back to you guys when I reach the next port. And then I'll probably do a couple of other jobs, grind the cash, get the new ship, and then we'll take it from there. So I shall see you guys at the next port. So we're nearly over at Emerald Harbour. Is that what it's called? Yes, it is indeed. So just see this awesome bridge here as well. I don't know if there's a way that we could actually get out and explore, even though there's not really much to explore. It just looks like a, like a desert. It looks a bit barren, doesn't it? Um, we'll buy some mountains as well, which... It looks like there's a, an actual port over here too. So much to see, so much to see. So I'm going to start slowing down in just a second. Because it looks like we've got a little bit of a tight turn getting in to this port here. It's not a massive port. Uh, so I am going to control the speed a little bit. But at the minute I think we're okay for now. And then we shall make some bad boy profits. And see what the next job will be. So... Let's control ourselves a little bit. We're going to angle out here. I would ideally like to just go wee! And, you know, just sort of hop over. But that ain't going to happen, is it? That ain't going to happen. I was also... Well, what's happening? Is it going foggy? The weather always seems to go really dodgy when I'm about to come into any port. <laughs> now, I have been looking a bit more at the map. I know there is some sort of shortcuts by the looks of it that we can take. So I will want to explore those at some point. That might save a little bit of fuel and a little bit less time on the mileage as well. So I'm going to reduce throttle here because I think this is our stop. I'm going to swing the ship round. Oh, here we go. More storms. Swing that round like a bad boy. We're going to let that reduce its speed by itself. In fact, I think we might need a little bit of reverse throttle on the go. I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay gonna bring it in nice and slow and now we'll dock well when we completely stop that is 
Okay, nearly there. Will it just let us dock here? I hope so. Can we dock? Let's give it a go. Yeah, it's happy with that. Nice, nice. So I think we were looking at oh, just over 5,000, I believe. So let's go to Manage Cargo. Let's switch to unload. And yes, 5,750. G to the G. So what I want to do now is top up the fuels. So we're going to go back. Ship services. We're going to refuel the ship, which I'm so glad it's cheap to do that. So we're back to 10 tons of fuel. Manage cargo. And now we're going to see what we can do within 10 miles that we can get a nice big chunky amount of profit. So if we go to Norfolk Port, which is 9.8, which we can just about make that, we can get 6,400. Yes, I think that is going to be our best shot. Now, I don't know if any of you guys will know. So say, for example, this is 10.2 nautical miles. Could we reduce that distance if we find ways to take shortcuts? That's what I'm interested in finding out. Is it just being a bit of a clever boy in terms of doing that? I don't know. That is something that I will have a look at doing. But Norfolk Port, which is, if we undock, go onto the map. Is that kind of going back to where... No, that was Newport. So Norfolk... Port. Ah, so that is actually an island that I have not been to yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grind away until we are able to get that 55k that we need. So once we've got that 55k, I shall be back. Guys, so with a serious amount of hefty grinding and grinding and a lot of seasickness, we have managed to gain ourselves quite a big chunk of of cash now i wasn't expecting to go that far i did go a little bit crazy and get carried away i was aiming to get the medium container ship which comes in at fifty-five thousand. however we have got enough to sort of bypass and go to the a class container ship which comes in at two hundred and eighty-three thousand, and we should be making a nice meaty bit of profit however however do I go for that or do I move on to a different category of ship? Now, for the bulk, we have got some smaller... Well, well there's only one that I can afford right now. The other one... Oh, no, sorry. No, there's this one. Yeah, that was just without reach. This one's 105. Hold five. And maximum C, 23. Does it tell us? Okay, so at the minute, I'm not really feeling that because I can make more profit by using the A-Class. We are making a lot more cash. What about oil tankers? Now, I have got enough to buy a general purpose one. I ain't got enough for that one just yet. So, the general purpose one, I don't know if there's something missing, but I'm not seeing any sort of, like, profit margin, or is it just a set price per barrel? I don't know, but I, technically, I have got enough to buy that. Now, gas carrier ships, we ain't going there anytime soon, because these are all in the millies. This is something that I do want to check down the line because i believe we can customize some of these ships i think i think so this is something that i would like to buy soon so what i'm gonna do guys i'm not too sure what ship to go for next the one i am thinking of is the a-class container ship or do we move on to an oil tanker now if any of you guys know if this is worth buying in terms of oil because I'm not, I'm not seeing a profit margin is it worth me spending the 298 on just yet or should i just go for the a-class container ship and keep the grind going i don't know i'm gonna leave that decision for you guys to decide on what i do with that so comment below which ship should i go for next with the money that i have and I shall seriously take that into consideration. But I am going to wrap up the video there for now. Because that grind was crazily real. Uh, but yes, please make sure to comment below. Please make sure to likey and subscribey. And until the next time, my friends, take care. Bye-byes.